No matter how skilled you are at driving, there are some roads you would not want to drive on. Whether they're dangerously located or badly damaged, many roads are just too risky, even for excellent drivers. Here are 20 roads you should definitely avoid. Number 20. The Treacherous Los Caracoles Pass. This road is a segment of CH60, commonly known as Ruta 60, and it's affectionately dubbed Los Caracoles, or Snails, by the Chileans. It connects Santiago in Chile to Buenos Aires in Argentina, cutting through the formidable Andes Cordillera. Although there are over 40 border points between the two countries, this route remains the most iconic and awe-inspiring. This particular stretch takes you from an elevation of 800 meters to 3,200 meters above sea level and features over 29 hairpin turns, each as breathtaking as the one before it. But be cautious. Winter ice and snow make the ascent and descent particularly tricky and perilous. The Chilean portion is notoriously winding, making it a challenging ride, while the Argentine section is a bit gentler, with a more gradual slope. Separating the two countries is the Cristo Redentor Tunnel, situated more than 3,200 meters above sea level and stretching 3,080 meters long. It has 1,564 meters on the Chilean side and 1,516 meters on the Argentine side. Though it opened a second tunnel in 1980, it frequently shuts down in winter due to heavy snowfall and rock slides. Due to its steep gradients, Los Caracoles is often cited as one of the most difficult and dangerous roads worldwide. Number 19. The infamous North Yungas Road, Bolivia. The Yungas Road in Bolivia has earned the ominous nickname Death Road, and it frequently appears on lists of the world's most dangerous roads. This highway is the main link between the low-lying Yungas region in the Amazon jungle and the capital city of La Paz. To achieve this, it traverses the massive Cordillera Oriental mountain range, starting from La Paz, which holds the title of the world's highest city at 12,800 feet above sea level. The road climbs to 15,250 feet at La Cumber Pass before descending sharply into Coroaco, situated at just 3,937 feet. This staggering descent of almost 12,000 feet is one of the longest continuous downhill stretches anywhere on Earth. It's estimated that this treacherous road claims between 200 and 300 lives each year. Constructed in the 1930s by Paraguayan prisoners during the Chaco War, the road has some sections that are carved right into the side of a steep cliff. On one side, you've got a rock wall, while the other side plunges into a 1,968-foot abyss. The road itself is mostly just 11.5 feet wide, and parts of it are neither paved nor equipped with guardrails. The road also has to contend with the region's weather warm, wet winds from the Amazon deliver heavy rain and fog, making a dangerous road even riskier. Mudslides and falling rocks are common, and sometimes water streams down from the cliffs above, just to make things even more sketchy. The road is a favorite hangout for groups of bikers, and you might encounter plenty of folks thirsty for social media likes, throwing themselves down the road on all kinds of random vehicles with GoPros attached to their heads. While the Bolivian government has expressed a desire to improve road safety, the challenging terrain makes construction slow and expensive. Number 18. The Perilous Kabul Jalalabad Road The Kabul Jalalabad Highway in Afghanistan is a challenging route spanning 40 miles. It cuts through Taliban-controlled territory along the Kabul River Gorge. The highway has two lanes and winds through cliffs that rise up to almost 2,000 feet. It's a hotspot for fatal car accidents, often due to reckless driving. This 89-mile road links Kabul, Afghanistan's largest city and capital, to Jalalabad, the capital of Nangarhar province in the east. It's a segment of the A01 National Highway and is crucial for military logistics, trade, relief aid, reconstruction, and the repatriation of Afghan refugees. Originally paved in 1969, it has since deteriorated into a dirt road, making for a lengthy and treacherous journey. The pace at which cars travel here is astonishingly fast, far exceeding what would be permissible on a comparable western road. Afghan drivers approach this road like they're in a Formula One race. They dart into sharp turns and quickly return to their lanes at the first sight of danger, usually making it through safely. However, slower-moving trucks pose an even greater risk. The massive tractor trailers that transport goods to and from Pakistan often exceed weight limits by thousands of pounds. They struggle on the steep 1,000-foot hills and can come to a standstill, causing frustration for drivers behind them. In their impatience, people overtake the slow-moving trucks at the first opportunity, often resulting in car crashes. Number 17. The Daunting Patio Pulo Perdikaki Road The road connecting Patio Pulo to Perdikaki in Greece ranks among the world's most perilous drives. Set in the northeastern region of Etolia Akernania, this isn't a road for casual visitors or the faint of heart. 
If you're curious, the best approach is to start in the town of Patio Polo and follow the signs toward AIA Marina Church, which will guide you to Pertikaki. But a word of caution, only those with very solid driving skills should attempt this. The risks are multiple. Steep inclines, treacherous declines, narrow lanes with steep drop-offs on either side, and do not expect guardrails to save you. They're either weak or non-existent. If you're looking for an easy drive, this isn't it. Consider walking instead. Navigating this road at night ratchets up the danger due to poor visibility and the lack of lighting. On top of that, the absence of clear markers or lane divisions makes it all too easy for nighttime drivers to veer off the path and plunge to their doom. So, if you're thinking of glancing down at your phone while you're driving here, don't. The unpredictable twists and turns can have you ending up at the bottom of a mountain instead of your destination. For adrenaline junkies, however, this road might be your kind of thrill. Number 16. The Majestic Karakoram Highway Pakistan. The Karakoram Highway holds the prestige of being the world's highest international road. It connects western China to Pakistan and is one of the rare routes that traverse the Himalayas and head west. Once part of the ancient Silk Road, the road was constructed by the governments of China and Pakistan between 1959 and 1979. The highway's name actually comes from a Mongolian name, which means Black Range. Nowadays, the Karakoram Highway is a hotspot for adventure tourism. It was ranked the third best place to visit in Pakistan by the Guardian newspaper. At its highest point, the Kunjurab Pass stands at almost 5,000 meters above sea level, making it the world's tallest border crossing. For context, Western Europe's highest mountain, Mont Blanc, is 4,810 meters high, while Mount Whitney, the tallest mountain in the 48 contiguous U.S. states, reaches 4,421 meters. Biking this route could be one of the most challenging experiences for devoted cyclists. There are organized bike tours and various books describe the experience of cycling along this path. However, the frequency of such tours has decreased due to security concerns in Pakistan. If you decide to make the trip independently, be mindful of the high elevation and intense heat. As for crossing the border, cycling is not an option. You'll have to board a bus, either at Tashkurgan in China or Sustan, Pakistan. While you can bike up to the pass from the Pakistani side, Crossing is off-limits. You'll have to return to Sus to catch that bus. Number 15. The Treacherous Zoji La Pass Zoji La is a high-altitude mountain pass sitting at 11,600 feet above sea level, connecting the Indian states of Jammu and Kashmir with Ladakh. Operating under the names National Highway 1D and the Srinagarla Highway, most of the road isn't paved but it's usually passable in good weather. This stretch of road is the only lifeline for people in Ladakh to stay connected with the rest of the world. If you peer along the jagged rock edges, all you'll see is a narrow, crumbling dirt trail that snakes around some of the world's highest mountains. The road demands a fully attentive driver and a reliable vehicle, especially given that those who come unprepared face life-threatening risks. High winds and heavy snowfall render the pass largely impassable during the winter months. So, is it worth it? Well, this magnificent road has some truly eye-popping views, even if they might be the last ones you'll ever see. The pass itself is a crazy tough challenge. It'll truly test your driving skills. In 2018, the Indian government launched the Zoji La Tunnel Project. This 14.2-kilometer-long tunnel is expected to shave more than three hours off the time needed to cross the pass. Number 14. The Treacherous Guoyang Tunnel The Guoyang Tunnel is a pretty horrifying spot in Hunan Province, China. This one is notorious for its dangerous location and also the challenging construction work required to build it. Built in the early 1970s, this tunnel is one of China's most famous tube roads. Driving through it requires intense focus, earning it the name, the road that doesn't permit any mistakes. Local residents stress that even a single lapse in concentration can have serious consequences. Accidents within the tunnel mostly occur due to inattention, given its narrow width. The tunnel can only accommodate one-way traffic. Even then, drivers are left with just a few feet of space on either side. Drivers often find themselves anxiously anticipating what could be around the next bend. Though the views from the tunnel's windows are stunning, it's worth remembering that this is a road that does not tolerate a single mistake. While no fatalities have been attributed to the tunnel's construction, many drivers have lost their lives due to carelessness or underestimating the road's difficulty. A momentary lapse could turn what should be an incredible journey into a trip to the hospital or much worse. Number 13. BR-116. Brazil's Highway of Despair. Brazil's BR-116 is a federally controlled highway that stretches from the north to the south of the country, almost parallel to the coast. As the second longest highway in Brazil, spanning almost 3,000 miles, it holds a grim distinction. 
It's the worst road in the world for child exploitation. Often referred to as the highway to hell or the highway of death, the road has a high rate of accidents, often due to unpredictable weather conditions. Numerous hazards make it one of the most perilous roads globally. Currently, it sees the highest concentration of large trucks. Combine this with stressed, fatigued truck drivers and the road's inconsistent quality, and it is a recipe for disaster. The stretch between Sao Paulo and Curitiba is arguably the riskiest. Starting in Fortaleza in the state of Serra and ending in Jaguareo, Rio Grande do Sul, near the Uruguay border, the road is mostly paved. Despite its crucial role in Brazil's transportation network, BR-116 is a hotbed for child exploitation. There are 262 known spots along the route where children are traded, averaging one every 10 miles. The issue is largely ignored, and victims are often discovered hundreds of miles from their homes. Approximately 500,000 children live under these circumstances in Brazil, a figure second only to Thailand according to UNICEF. Number 12. Skipper's Canyon's Narrow Trails Can you drive Skipper's Canyon? Well, you'll need balls of steel to tackle it, and this hand-carved dirt road dates back over 140 years. It was built by miners, starting from the paved Coronet Peak Road and ending at Skipper's Campground. It stretches over 10 miles and navigates through Skipper's Canyon. The road runs high along the canyon wall, overlooking the robust shot over river. Driving here is a risk. It's not recommended for the inexperienced. The road is often too narrow for two cars to pass each other, lacks guardrails, and features steep drops that leave zero room for error. As you descend, you'll see scenic backcountry and rocky areas where Chinese laborers worked tirelessly to construct the road. The people who built this route through such challenging terrain were both skilled and resolute. The road's narrow width, stone walls, and rock cuts are a consistent reminder of that. Along the route, various signs offer advice and warnings. The road is winding and narrow. Rental cars might not be insured. The recommended speed is 15 kilometers per hour for the next 20 kilometers. Watch out for sliding rocks, risks, drops, and animals, and of course, zero safety barriers. Exercise caution as you navigate this narrow, twisty, and decidedly hazardous road with steep drop-offs spanning several hundred meters. For a stretch of six kilometers, the road is one way and does not offer the option to turn around. Number 11. The Dalton Highway Challenge. The Dalton Highway, also referred to as the Hall Road, is among the northernmost roads on the planet. It was built by the Alaska Pipeline Service Company to facilitate the growth of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline and serve Alaska's North Slope oil fields. It's now maintained and owned by the state of Alaska and is open to the public year-round. Starting in Living Good, a small town 80 miles north of Fairbanks, the highway stretches 414 miles to Dead Horse, situated on the Arctic Ocean. Yeah, the town is called Dead Horse, but they weren't expecting to have a great time living there when they named it that, but it's pretty accurate, as riding a horse along this road will result in, well, a dead horse, most likely. The landscape along the highway is diverse. It begins with boreal forest, crosses the 4,800-foot Attigan Pass in the Brooks Mountain Range, ventures out to the Arctic foothills, and concludes with a 55-mile stretch of Arctic coastal plain tundra. While most of the traffic consists of commercial trucks carrying goods and fuel to North Slope oil fields, the road has seen a gradual increase in tourism since it opened to the public in 1994. This includes motorcyclists and cyclists. Drivers should be prepared for a mix of gravel and dirt roads, with some paved sections, regardless of the season. The road conditions are harsh, so a vehicle well-suited for long-distance travel is recommended. It's worth noting that many rental car companies have policies against driving their vehicles on the Dalton Highway, so it's a good idea to check before making any plans. Number 10. Sichuan Tibet Highway Perils the Sichuan Tibet Highway is a truly wild road in China. The stretch is often used by truck drivers guiding huge trucks en route to some of the world's highest regions. The road connects Lhasa with Yatung, Gars, and Kamdo. It winds through 14 towering mountains, yeah, 14 mountains, and they have average heights of between 13,000 and 16,000 feet. It also splashes through famous rivers like Dadu, Lansang, and Nujiang, not to mention all the dense forests and various hazardous areas. Oh yeah, and oxygen is scarce here, only about half the amount that you'd find at sea level. The road itself presents its challenges. These include 99 harrowing curves over a 24-mile stretch. It starts at Yellow Mountain, which has an elevation of over 15,000 feet, and descends nearly 4,000 feet to a precarious bridge. Frequent rock falls add another layer of risk, and the military maintains a 24-hour watch over the pass. It's infamous for its rough road conditions and sharp turns. This highway can be super challenging for less experienced drivers, especially in bad weather. On the single track section, construction work was launched in April of 1950, 
and the highway was opened on Christmas Day of 1954. The rate of fatal car accidents in China almost doubled from 1985 to 2005, going from 3.9 to 7.6 per 100,000 people. Abandoned and broken-down vehicles along the highway are sadly not an uncommon sight. Number 9. Taroko Gorge Road Dangers Navigating the renowned Taroko Gorge Road in Taiwan is no small feat it's a tight squeeze, barely accommodating a single bus at a time, let alone a mix of pedestrians, scooters, and cars. Despite the challenges, the road is a marvel, cutting through mountain terrain to link Taiwan's east and west coasts. The presence of many buses complicates things, adding to the road's inherent dangers. It's narrow, and the surface can be slick. In a nutshell, the hazards are many, overcrowded with various modes of transportation, debris from heavy rains during typhoon season, and the fragile walls of the adjacent gorge that might crumble during an earthquake. Plus, expect to encounter blind curves, deteriorating road conditions, falling rocks, and landslides triggered by rain. The road itself features plenty of cliff-hugging routes, abrupt bends, minor rockfalls, and dark single-lane tunnels. Due to the road's narrowness, large vehicles like tour buses can only pass one at a time. So yeah, only experienced drivers should attempt it, and they do so at their own peril. Vital bridges might even be at risk of collapsing. Given these significant hazards, the strategies employed by highway authorities to manage the road are scrutinized, especially considering its role as both a travel route and tourist attraction. Number 8. The Enigmatic Passage du Goise You can call this unique French bridge either Passage du Goise or Goise. It links Beauvoir-sur-Mer with the island of Normutier, situated in France's Vade region along the Atlantic coast. The bridge is about 2.6 miles long, and here's the catch. It gets submerged twice a day due to high tide, so yeah, it has an actual road on it. It played a drama-filled role in the 1999 Tour de France during its second stage. A slippery surface led to a crash that created a six-minute gap among the cyclists, dashing the winning hopes of many, including Alex Zuhl, who eventually took second place. The Goys made a comeback as the starting point for the first stage of the race in 2011. Not just a cyclist challenge, the Goys is also a big magnet for nature enthusiasts. This means you better watch out for ambling birdwatchers and shellfish hunters alike. In any case, there's one thing that cannot be denied. It's a beautiful spot. Number 7. Luxorel Hergata Road Dangers Driving between the historic city of Luxor in southern Egypt and Hergata, a hub for Red Sea scuba diving, is a risky endeavor. The road is notorious for pretty much constant head-on collisions and dramatic, often fatal accidents. Spanning 188 miles, it's been improved quite a bit, but that doesn't make it safe, especially at night. The road quality can be poor in some stretches, but that's about the least of your concerns. Security guards do patrol the paved and relatively well-marked road, keeping an eye out for bandits and radical Islamist militiamen lurking in the rugged terrain. A typical drive would take you about four and a half hours, but real-world conditions might require you to move more slowly to maintain control of your vehicle and dodge Islamist militants throwing themselves at you. At other times, you might feel the need to speed up to distance yourself from potential dangers. Be cautious of nighttime threats as well. The thieves here are not deterred by darkness, and your headlights signal your approach. Rather than trying to flag you down, these criminals are likely to shoot out your tires to stop you. Number 6. Trollstigen's Serpentine Beauty The Trollstigen Road is a must-see in Norway. This serpentine mountain road links the villages of Valdal and Andalsnes and is famous for its steep incline and 11 hairpin bends. Visitors flock from all corners of the globe just to experience this engineering marvel, set against the stunning backdrop of Romsdalen in the Rama region. Driving isn't the only way to enjoy Trollstigen. You can hike, cycle, or even camp along the route. Each of the 11 twists and turns has its own name, often derived from something unique about that particular bend. In some areas, the road is carved directly into stone or mountain, enhancing its reputation as an extraordinary feat of engineering. Legend has it that mountain trolls inhabit the rocky crags of Trollstigen and make an occasional appearance. This ancient lore really spices up an already fascinating destination. But even without the myths, the natural beauty stands out. Those who navigate this meandering road will encounter a ton of lush greenery, protected strawberry fields, dramatic cliffs, and viewpoints that are nothing short of breathtaking. I don't think most people know how beautiful Norway is. Number 5. Stelvio Pass, a high alpine road. The Stelvio Pass is a mountain road in Italy, very high up in the mountains, at a massive 9,045 feet above sea level. It's the highest paved mountain pass in the whole Eastern Alps, located in Italy's Ortler Alps. The pass sits between Stilfs and Stelvio, as it's known in Italian, in South Tyrol to the northeast, 
and Bormio in the province of Sondrio to the southwest. It's also right next to Switzerland, connecting to Sta Maria Val Mustare in the north via the Umbrail Pass. The three languages peak near the pass earns its name from the convergence of areas where people speak Italian, German, and Romance. The original road up the pass was constructed between 1820 and 1825 by the Austrian Empire to link Austria with Lombardy. The road climbs 6,138 feet from its base. In the first episode of its tenth season, the British car show Top Gear dubbed the Stelvio Pass as another contender for the greatest driving road in the world. The Stelvio Pass is a frequent feature in the Giro d'Italia cycling race. In 1953, Fausto Coppi triumphed over Hugo Coblet when the Giro first included the pass, and since then, the highest point of the race has been named the Sima Coppi. Each year in late August, the pass closes to motor vehicles for one day, allowing about 8,000 cyclists and approximately 25 runners to ascend to the summit. Number 4. Coley Hills Road, a spiraling challenge. So, how risky is the Coley Hills Drive? Well, let's get into it and find out just how likely you are to survive this one. The road is challenging due to its numerous curves and bends. For the most part, the roads are in decent shape, but they do deteriorate around some of the tighter turns. You'll navigate 70 hairpin turns that are mostly lined up in a somewhat straight fashion. People typically come to this area to visit the Agaya Gongai streams and the local Shiva temple. While you can visit year-round, it's better to avoid January when temperatures dip due to the high elevation. Each sharp turn is numbered, adding up to 70 turns over the course of the 29-mile road, leading to Koli Malai, nicknamed the Mountains of Death. Some of the turns are so narrow only a single car can pass at a time. As you navigate the bends, you'll have views of the fields below, enhanced by the surrounding lush green tropical forests. Number 3. Gata Loops, Himalayan Hairpins the Gata Loops in the western Himalayas of the Ladakh region in India's Jammu and Kashmir state is a ride that you will not forget. Famous worldwide for its sharp turns, this winding road takes you to the top of Nikila, with 22 challenging turns that test even seasoned drivers. It's considered a must-see spot along the Lemanali Highway. Legend has it that the ghost of a deceased truck driver even haunts the loops. Your elevation will shift dramatically, going from almost 14,000 to over 15,000 feet. If you've got any passengers who are prone to car sickness, yeah, maybe skip this one, or at least avoid having meals ahead of time. The average incline is about 4.5%, so if you're not familiar with such roads, it's best to avoid driving here at night or in low visibility conditions. The thrill of navigating this road is enhanced by its rugged terrain. The best months to take on the Gata Loops are June through September. Be warned, the high altitude means there's a good chance of experiencing altitude mountain sickness while you're on this road. Trying to drive that would be tough. Number 2. Halsama Highway, a scenic yet challenging route. Ever heard of the Halsama Highway? Anyone into mountaineering or visiting Mount Sagata definitely knows it. It's the most elevated highway in the Philippines, also known as the Mountain Trail, and it's a key part of any northern adventure. Here's the tricky part, though. It's the sole route to Sagata, a hot tourist destination. The drive is scenic, with some of the overlooks even soaring higher than Mount Bona's Peak but it's not all smooth sailing. The concrete portions can get treacherously slick when it rains, which is pretty often. Plus, the area is prone to landslides. Throw in some thick fog during rainfall and you've got visibility near zero. So, it's beautiful but demanding. Please keep that in mind. Along this route, travelers are treated to stunning views of the Cordillera mountain range, which provides a breathtaking backdrop for the journey. Adventurous drivers and cyclists from around the world seek out the Halsema Highway for its unique challenges and the reward of unparalleled natural beauty. Local governments have been working to improve safety measures on the highway to ensure a safer travel experience for everyone. Despite these efforts, drivers are advised to be extremely cautious, especially during the wet season when the risks are significantly higher. Number 1. Agum Goths, a road through rainforests. Agum is part of the Malnadu region in western Goths, a mountain range rich in forests known as the Cherupanji of South India. It's a place that gets heavy rainfall, second only to Chirupanji, one of India's wettest locations. Situated at a high elevation in Karnataka, the town is home to several waterfalls like Anik Abbey, Barkana, and Jajagundi Falls. It's surrounded by the lush western ghats and dense jungle. Sunset viewpoints offer scenic vistas of tree-covered slopes and are located near the Sri Venugopala Krishnaswami Temple to the south. A wildlife sanctuary houses tigers, lions, and king cobras. As for the road, only small vehicles like cars and minibuses are allowed on the Agum Ghat. The roads are marvels of engineering and date back to the British Raj. 
They were built primarily to connect mountain towns, known as hill stations, which served as cool retreats during the hot summers. Typically, these roads connected coastal areas to elevated regions of the Deccan Plateau. A gum also serves as an important base for trekking and exploring the biodiversity of the Western Ghats, attracting researchers and eco-tourists alike. The region's rich biodiversity includes a variety of endemic flora and fauna, which makes it a key area for conservation efforts. Educational and research institutions conduct numerous studies here, focusing on tropical rainforest conservation and the ecology of its unique species. Additionally, Agum is famous for the Agum Rainforest Research Station, which specializes in the study of king cobras and other reptiles, contributing valuable data towards the conservation of these species. So would you dare to navigate any of these roads or maybe you've actually driven on one? Let us know in the comments below. Also check out our other cool videos showing up on screen right now. See you next time.